Hello, good morning. Uh, it's a Friday morning today and it's the uh, the day after the death of our Queen. And uh, thinking about it overnight, uh, I thought, well, I'll come and show you this one today because it's a nice, easy job for you to do on a dull day. So I'm standing in front of this Hebe. Absolutely gorgeous thing. This is the second flowering it's done this year. Uh, but there are lots of shoots, if you look down here, that aren't flowering. Now those ones, if you take them off, let me take one of these off for you. Look. So if I take one off like that, I'll put it over here so you can see it easy. So that's about three inches long. There's no flowers on there at all. Uh, so what I would do next, I would take off all the lower leaves and just pull them off so you're left with the top bud there lot and a couple of leaves. And then I would stick it in the soil and some compost to about two inches. So it's that deep. So there's just a little bit sticking out of the pot. Uh, it will grow from that and it's probably the last chance of the year. You can also try putting that into some water and get the roots growing on it first and then put it in the compost, whichever way you fancy. But as I say, this is the last time of the year to do Ebees. Now, why am I mixing up Ebees with Queen Elizabeth? Well, many years ago, uh, I was invited to Buckingham Palace to a garden party and I saw this beautiful shrub. It was a gift from uh, the Queen of Tonga to Queen Elizabeth and I thought, ooh, I'll just encourage it to grow a little bit more by taking off one of these side shoots. That will then, as you see here, look, it'll send off more buds and more flowers. So Elizabeth will have more flowers, I thought. Anyway, I brought that home with me and this is this, Hebe. Uh, Bob Flowerdew, gardening pundit on the radio on uh, Gardener's Question Time. Uh, he was asked a few months ago, when is the best time to take a cutting? His answer was, when nobody's looking. Bye.